in this video we will study the simple motor operation using plc ladder logic this is a single phase motor we are trying to start and stop plc ladder motor problem is that controlling the running state of the single phase motor by plc pressing start and stop push buttons that is motor should remain in on state after start push button is pressed and should off when stop push button is pressed checking if the motor is running normally by pressing test push button so this is our problem so we will make a program for that that the single motor will start with the start button stop with the stop button and there will be a test button inputs required are x0 which is a start push button to start the motor x1 which is a stop push button to stop the motor and the x2 which is error signal from motor to plc and our output is y0 to the single phase motor here you can see it's ladder programming i will zoom it to show you x0 is a start push button x1 is stop push button x3 is error signal y0 is the motor auxiliary and the or uh, the latching contact and x2 is the test push button so here you can see our inputs are x0 x1 x3 and x2 and the y0 is a contact we are using from the output when the motor will start then this contact will be energize or it will be one or it will be close here you can see the motor output y0 when this output will be high then the motor will start running this may be a conductor of three phase motor or single phase motor to start the motor when this will be on motor will start running here we can describe this PLC ladder program that first step is press start button lightly and x0 is on which is our start button the motor will keep running if no error if there is no error x3 is normally closed then the motor will start the action can be practiced by latching circuit which takes output y0 as one of the input condition to keep the motor running even if the start button is not pressed as i told you that normally open contact of y0 is used when stop button is pressed the circuit is open and the motor will stop number third step is if error occurred that x3 is on y1 will be off and the motor will stop running this error may be overload from the motor side it may be some emergency stop or anything which can create error when test is pressed which is our input x2 y0 is on the motor will start running if no error occurred everything is ready and we press the start button our motor will start running and we can stop it by the stop push button this can we also done with the start latch latching